Dragona, holy shit, what a name. Dragona Joestar, fuck. <laughs> holy shit, Dragona fucking Joestar. This is for heaven, um... I'm having back with another video. Uh, I don't know if that was as cool as I wanted it to be. Uh, unfortunately, a Coke bottle being opened is not as interesting as uh, maybe like snapping a Sprite can, you know, having that that uh, V12 engine go off in a Sprite can. Anyway, this is going to be a bad idea. I'm telling you that right now. What I had planned is to do what I did in the past with JoJo and read the manga, get the first impressions, and then come back and do like an overall just thought of what I read. Uh, with the first impressions usually means that I am reading it actively while recording and just kind of getting my reactions to the things. Uh, by the way, I'm not sure how I did the camera in the past. For some reason, the camera, no matter where I place it, like the camera window, does not look good. Um, you'll see when we do like two page panels in the future in this chapter, um, but it just looks awful no matter what I do. So I don't know if you know anything about that, but. That was my plan. And then I went to go do some other stuff, went to a thrift shop, all that bull, and I came back and I'm tired. Uh, I have not eaten anything today except a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I have food, uh, orange chicken. I have AC going off too. Holy fuck! This is a nightmare, really. This is just just dreadful. Like I said, I have orange chicken here. Um, I have rice. I have food. I have things that um, to to snack on. Um, I have to eat. As a human being, I do have to eat. <laughs> but I also need to read this chapter. And uh, I'm not doing this for the video. I want to read this chapter. I genuinely, genuinely, generally, genuinely want to read this chapter as soon as possible. I literally woke up just like a wildebeest, depraved in the jungle, went to go get food. I'm not eating the food because I need to do the intro to this video. I'm going to eat this food while watch while reading this chapter on recording. If that sounds awful to you, I understand. I wouldn't want to re watch it either. But I have to. Alright, so I made a compromise. Wait. Alright, so I made a compromise. I'm not going to eat on camera. I, I went and just ate for like 10, 15 minutes. Now I feel like shit, kind of. Uh, I'm probably going to, like, fucking literally go to the bathroom. And... Anyway, Chinese food, right? Um, so, this is what we have. We have part nine. This is now probably, like, six minutes of fucking video content where um, I am not going to pass the first fucking page. Um, second page. There we go. Uh... <laughs> Here's the second page. Um, on a yet unseen bizarre adventure, the newest work in the JoJo series. JoJo Bizarre Adventure Part 9. Uh, the JoJo Lands. The JoJo Lands. We'll just call it JoJo Lands, but the JoJo Lands. Uh, it goes up. There's an up arrow on the D. Uh, there's an up on the D. Right, the D gets up. Uh, powers that have forms and shapes but are invisible. They're called stands. Even though they are visible at multiple points in the series. Uh, they exist all over and always have, but they are simply unseen by those that do not try to see them. Well, I guess Rock told me to shut the hell up. Uh, so in this, we have this kind of orange background, which I really like. Um, orange, green, and yellow, those are very complementary colors, I feel like. Uh, we have some hero and villain stands, uh, sets pistols. Uh, Tusk Act 4, I believe, Star Platinum, um, Golden Experience Requiem, uh, White Snake, Requiem, I don't know what the fuck that is, The World, uh, Part. So we have the previous JoJo's stand, pretty much I would say second to most upfront. Then we have the world, arguably one of the 
five most impactful stands in the series. I don't know if that says anything, but massive color spread here. Uh, again, uh, I can't say his name. Oh, yes, I can. Joe Dio Joe Star. Joe Dio Joe Star. Uh, the Giorno Alton Universe. This may sound like bullshit, but this is a story of one boy becoming rich in the subtropical islands. This boy, Joe Dio Joe Star. As we recall with the Brandos and the original universe, uh, money and uh, welfare things that kind of pervaded amongst them. Um, fuck, what was Dio's dad's name? Was it Diego? I don't know what his dad's name was. But his dad was uh, was poor and saved George, Joe Star. Kind of came with some money that way. Or, fuck, I forgot the AC. God damn it. I forgot the fucking AC again. Oh my God, I'm just fucking up right now. Um, it takes a couple seconds to go off. Fucking, fuck that AC. Fucking acid reflux kicking my ass. Um, the islands fall in the middle Pacific Ocean, Hawaii. Uh, I know that, uh, at sports, uh, prognosticated they'd be island related. I think he said, like, the, I don't know what the fuck he said, but he's saying, like, Polynesian islands, something to that effect. I, I don't know if that's the same area as Hawaii. I don't know geography, but he did think islands, and, um, the colors are just look beautiful, just like literally gorgeous. Um, this kind of yellows, he's doing his thing with yellow so far. Um, this pink, I, I think Iraqi has used pink better than just about anybody uh, in the history of uh, Mangaki. Uh, I just noticed that like, this says nine, part nine. Uh, chapter one is called Mechanism, uh, Iraqi Hirohiko. Um, nothing else visibly. Joe Dio. I, I don't like that. All right. I'm going to be honest with you. Joe Dio. Off a of first couple of lists. I mean, I've seen it before. Like I said, Joe Dio. Joe Dio. I'm not. One thing to keep in mind with a rocket thing is that pretty much every geography he uses for a part is an island that he's or an area that he's been to before. Uh, he went to America for part six. And I believe he went to where the fuck part seven was at, uh, which isn't humanly possible because part seven was, uh, was done like in 1800s. Anyway, who gives a shit? Um, so <laughs> fuck it. Who, who cares? Uh, so maybe he went to Hawaii, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, usually he goes to the locales. These dudes look, I'm going to, I'm going to say something stupid. They look like the guys from part eight. Uh, it's the same guy drawing the people from part eight. So they kind of have to look the same. It's his drawing style. Anyway, uh, the guy's gonna stop by the cops. Um, would you mind turning off the music? Uh, I like the way that the very light, uh, what do you call it? A seat belt? A seat belt, yeah, seat belt. Very bright seat belt against like her kind of tan skin. She looks to be as kind of what has force prognosticated, uh, more of a Hawaiian Polynesian type woman. So that's cool. The, the colors seem to. Fit that while well, the cops appear to be Caucasian, I don't mean turn it down. I mean turn it off completely, please. And please don't raise either of your hands towards me. This fucking cop is more of an American cop, huh? Is that an egg? What is this? That looks to be an egg. I don't know what the hell is. I don't. Know. I guess he's taking a bite of an egg muffin thing. I don't know. Uh, maybe you went to McDonald's to get a fucking McMuffin. Your face is a little close. <sighs> The fuck? This is some cop ass shit around a woman. This is like cops act around women, uh, at least in my country. I don't think I was going too fast or anything. Mind if I ask why I've been pulled over? Uh, Honolulu, po fuck, Honolulu police. I forgot how fucking ass it was. It like, just use a manga viewer or reader. Please place both your hands on the steering wheel where I can see them. I already got them on the wheel. I already got them on them wheel. Okay, well, that's a bad... <laughs> oh, that's intended. I already got them on them, Will. <laughs> them man and them. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> um, just these cool little tattoos, like those little lines on her. And it's just a kind of... A, a lot of women have some kind of... Uh, kind of bracelet on their arm, high arm now, so... Maybe it's more contemporary. You were driving unsteadily, so I'm going to ask you a few questions. Unsteadily. Uh, Dio... Dio's kid, I guess, it's in the back there. If you were this 
uh, expression field to a cop in America. You might get fucking popped just off of that shit. She's moving around way too much for me to feel comfortable in the situation she's in. Um, I wish she has a fake ID. Fuck, go for it. I, I hate Mongo Beaver so much, man. Uh, scratch, scratch. Is that what that noise is? She's scratching the wheel. Did I do something? Was I driving on steady without realizing it? I know I wasn't speeding, and it seems to be kind of hard to drive on steady on a straight road like this. Maybe you got two instead of listening to Dua Lipa. Oh, okay, so this is contemporary. Ah. So that's going to be set pretty recently. Okay, okay. No way you think that was it. No, come on. Well, maybe. K -k -k. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. Um, okay. Shout out to Joe Dio. Uh, man of many references. How old is he? Officer. Okay, the pickup truck doesn't belong to you, am I correct? Officer, the age of the person to pass you does not matter, does it? Well, I guess I can tell you my little brother. He's 15. Okay. Yes, it does. I'm 18 years old. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Oh, I followed that wrong. So she spoke and then uh, he spoke. Yes, it does. I'm 18 years old. This is my parents' card. Look at me. You can see they have the same last name, right? I believe I told you, don't raise your hands on me. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, your face is kind of closed and you could have COVID or something. Oh, my God. A COVID reference in the first three pages? Whoa. <laughs> Rocky is really going contemporary here. Holy shit. A COVID reference in the first fucking, what is it, the third page of the series? A COVID and a for reference in the first three pages of the season? You mean because of the color of my skin, that's why you don't want me to get close to you. I referenced that. I don't know if I said that explicitly, but my house, like, she's dark skin when I was talking about her skin color. And I was like, the cop looks white. If you go back here, let's see. She clearly looks to be melanated, and the, co the cop appears to be colored white. I mean, I could be wrong here. Uh, by the same measure, I guess uh, Joe Dio would also appear to be white. And the coats also are inconsistent, depending on, like, which, not inconsistent, but, like, they're differently colored. Like, in this panel, um, they look to be about the same color. So, but I mean, the cop is clearly white based on that test because of the color of your skin. We said about the vehicle, I'm going to perform a pat down. That's some really American shit right now. What the hell for? Put your hands together on your head and turn to face the car. Do you have any weapons or drugs in, on your person or in your car? I'm home and swimming, and where the hell would I hide any if I did? Is he grabbing her hips? It's like he just hit her or something. I don't know what happened here, but I, this it's hard to follow fucking uh, JoJo panel sometimes. I always tell people that, but it looks like he grabbed her around the waist, uh, around her hip to waist area. Uh, did he throw her against the car? That's all I could think of What is what happened right here. Oh, he did throw her against the car. Okay, that's what I expected. This other cop, uh, this is some very cop-ass shit. Letting your uh, your partner uh, just beat the shit out of somebody without stepping in. Yeah, he's on some fucking real uh, nasty boy shit right here. Is he sliding under their pants? Or... Given the reasonable grounds in an incident with a moving vehicle, police have the right to commence an investigation of their own discretion. He's doing some real nasty boy shit right here. I think he went in her pants. Made her, uh, you know, spread them. That that part of a uh, pat down. Did you have no hiding place in your body, didn't you? But I'd say you do. Women have s some more hiding places than men. Yeah, this is nasty business. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. Just stay right there. Got me. Yo, Joe Dio, you got to get in here or something, bro. I, I just got to fucking do some nasty shit here. Yo, this is some nasty language right there. We must perform a precise investigation into any possibility of unlawful activity. Doesn't seem like you got anything in your ears, but let's see about here. This is, this is a posture that, uh... Not 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 a good posture. Not a good pose. Uh, there's nothing good about this at all. And to further shine light into God damn, he is getting in there. Holy shit! 
Wow, this is beyond fucked. The seventh, eighth page of this chapter, where I got somebody trying to fucking uh, commit sexual assault. Eighth page. Of the... I actually don't know what page this is. Uh, page 14. Okay. Doesn't change the, the point there, but, you know. Um, he pulled. I think he thought it was a dick, is what I'm. <laughs> I think he thought that was a. Uh... Oh, what's driving license in there? This makes it even more turned on. Get back in that car now. I never asked you to come out. So, you don't fuck with a Dio. Oh, what a what a what a panel, what a page. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Uh, big sister here, I guess we'll call her Big Sis. Uh, she was like, "Yo, <laughs> you're gonna let the cracking out at this point, bro." Go, 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 go. Okay. Uh, tried to make sure my sound was still going. Yo, this kid is not not fucking around. <laughs> menacing, uh, what do you call it? Uh, menacing intent. It starts with uh, murderous intent. There you go, murderous intent. Uh, that that cop has never been fucking uh, had his card pulled. I can I can tell. Don't move it. Hold it right there. Shut the hell up, you uh. What's that? That's Duke Nukem looking ass motherfucker. <laughs> big bro? Wait, big bro. Wait, big bro. Wait. Wait, whoa, whoa. Wait, whoa. Wait, is it really is, is it really is a thing down there? Grab. Oh, that's what the Oh, Sarugi Higashi Kata? Who? Who is? Wait. Okay. Never mind. I'm not gonna go to that assumption. Um, a fucking a guy that looks like a chick. And I first thought of Sarugi Higashi Kata. Um. Okay, I'm getting this now. So he grabbed. If you look at this little piece here, Gugu grabbed. He grabbed something. I thought he just grabbed him in the the. Um, there's no cats that I know of in the Joe story, but a cat uh, in the JoJo series. But a cat, I thought he was grabbing a cat. I think he went back over the license after seeing that there was a thing there, a thing, a thingy there. And when he says that makes me more turned on, okay, I get it. Get your hands off a of big bro right now. You got me right now, or you're dead meat. So that is uh. This touches on a theme or a thought that I had. I thought we were going to do some transgender things with the series, with this particular uh, part. It's because I thought they were going to maybe do like a uh, a mix. I don't know how it's going to be possible, but a mixture of like Jolene and Giorno. And obviously, we only got one of those two based on the name and kind of the general appearance. But. Because they have some transgender things going on here. I'm, I'm interested to see where they go with that. But he did say big bro. And from what I can tell. That uh, there was something packing down there. Uh, stop right there on your knees right now. I like the way they drew the hair here. Uh, we said don't move. On your knees when you're playing around. Yeah, he was like a motherfucker that can. Uh, got some hands on him. Just... Get back in the car, Joe Dio. Don't do this. I'll be okay. My little brother still mine. I'll point a freaking gun at him. Is that a flat chest? Is that what I'm getting from here? I'm guessing it's a flat chest. I don't know. Um, you can be a dude with like, you can put a bikini on. You got some titties. Um, so I mean that doesn't really mean anything, but you know, a dude in the contemporary like body sense, dude. Um, put your hands together on some on on, on some head. Go, go, go put some, some fucking hands on some head, motherfucker. Uh, hands together. Uh, hey, he touched him. Droplets came onto his head. Plop, 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 or his hand, and he got his ass knocked the fuck down. Uh, looks like a big bro is. Aware of that ability. This would be like just fucking droplets that just penetrated his ass. Just 
donutted him. He got really donutted. Holy shit. Those droplets beat the fuck out of him. Whoa! He got a... <laughs> Golly. That's his stand. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing this is where the droplets came from. That's a fucking crazy-ass design. That is the most crazy design I think I've seen from opening uh, an opening JoJo stand. And, like, you know, you have different parts for a couple of them, but that or different versions, I guess not parts, but um do 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 two do 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 two. Okay. I'm trying to pay attention in this part more to uh kanji and, and uh do 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 okay. Well maybe I was wrong about him having uh seen this stand before because uh, I don't know. What the hell are you doing? What did you do? What the hell did you do? What the hell? What the goddamn hell? You better hold it right there, kid. I man got the fucking uh the fucking Glock on him, and uh, I don't think he's able to use that bitch. <laughs> I don't think he get the chance to use that motherfucker. It looks like uh something with the nail there. Sue. It looks like he probably fired a nail. I'm guessing he fired a nail, some shit like that. Uh, it's fucking. Face got deranged, uh, or uh, slid. His face is like literally sliding off. Um, and then for good measure, he gets uh, donuted too. So we saw take this as so I guess he's just fucking a town stomping on him. Uh, Jodio, stop! Don't no more. What are you doing? This is bad. You got to stop. Calm down. This is messed up. We can't be doing this. That's definitely some mannerisms, uh, some behavioral uh, mannerisms that are very similar to uh, some of our prior brandos. I can't believe you did this. You came doing the cops beat them half to death. That's only half to death. I just saw their face slide down. Um, I fucking saw them being penetrated by, or not really penetrated, but beaten the fuck up by um, droplets. It appears uh, only half to death. Okay, or or or. Ooh, or, or, or. I mean, that's um, that's Joe Star ish. Or, I forgot the um. Oh yeah, the Brandos. They did Muda Muda. Uh, so I guess he does not have Muda. I think Diego Brando for part seven had Muda. He light the car on fire. Holy shit! Take care of their dad and their computer, bro. What are you doing? We are only recorded by the onboard camera and the patrol car, that and their body camera, so we just bring them. We should be fine. It's only having to see policemen or trash. You can get credit they want to be Wow. This is definitely some, uh, some brand level fucking, uh, badassery. I gotta say thank you. I'm happy. Let's go over late, real late. Damn, they got caught. I, mean, I can't feel bad for him necessarily, but you niggas got fucked up. Um, and one thing I'll say, I mean, for bro, like, I, this is like the OG culture, the Polynesian Hawaiian culture. It's like the OG one that just calls people like bro and brother and shit like that, just kind of casually. I mean, that's something that, that I think originates with them. So they may not necessarily be blood brothers or whatever. Uh, Jodio and Big Joe Star, I guess. We'll call him Big Joe Star. It's like they're going somewhere. Uh, to do some dirt, it actually appears. Some dirt. Oh, so they're just going to trash the... Oh, they're doing work. Holy shit. Is this type of way we're getting money out here? Fucking putting in, put in a flipping work? I respect it. That's a Joe Star uh, star right there, the birthmark. No, one has, I, no one's ever called it the Joe Star star. I'm probably the first person to ever do that because it's just redundant. But that's a Joe Star star, the Joe Star birthmark. Seems somebody burned a cop car on the coastal road on the other side of the warehouse district. You didn't know anything about that. Don't ask any questions. <laughs> what do we do for a ride home? Let's walk for a bit. They call Uber and take to a major road. Our mother, Barbara Ann, gets up at 7 15 in the morning and starts her day by running the washing machine. Aloha! Barbara Ann Joestar. Maybe she's just Barbara Ann and the Joestar name was her maternal name. I don't know. Dragona, holy shit, what a name. Dragona Joe Star. Fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, Dragona fucking Tro Star. <laughs> okay, uh Dragona always goes for 
get your go-to Joe Star uh, when he gets up. So that's that's at least by some measure that's a male. Uh, not totally sure to what extent, but that's a male. Um, he only ever eats what I'm for breakfast. Which I'm going to go to. I should go to the The yoga instructor. I'm not gonna lie to Dracona about it. Uh, listen, man, there's a reason Dragona, uh was drawn with this motherfucking thing on her back here, man. I'm just saying. Um, he loves girl like fashion and uh, works at a fashion boutique in Kalahi called Eco Eco. Oh, okay, so this, hey, I've never seen it actually done, but the slight swelling in his chest is from cosmetic injections. They should call me Jaffer Domus. Matter of fact, they do call me that. Um, I, well, I know we had some some trans. I had a, I had a um, I had an inkling that we we're going to do some transgender concepts on this one. I mean, we kind of touched on that loosely with Sarugi. I mean, not in like a actual transgender manner because that's a little kid, but like um, we got like in that general like theme. I feel like with with Sarugi. Um, I don't know, I just had a feeling. I just had a feeling, really. And uh, when we had, basically, we only have two Joe Stars left that haven't been touched on. One is a boy and one is a girl. I kind of was thinking, like, I don't know. How, how are you going to implement a boy and a girl? I don't know. Anyway, our porn, 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 I didn't say porn. Our parents came here to, uh, there's a connection. So they had two kids. One was Holly Kira, who we saw in part eight, uh, produced Yoshikage, one half of Josuke, or Gappy. Uh, then he had another one, Barbara, who I don't ever remember being a Barbara ever in this fucking entire series. Uh, Barbara had two kids, Jodio and Dragona. Joestar is my mother's last name. My name is Jodio Joestar. 15 years old, uh, around the same age as Giorno, if I remember correctly. I'm in school bus by Buzz. Not going to school to particularly learn. House and Hank and Joe Dio. You sure seem cheery this fine morning. Did you bring this stuff? Wait. How the hell would he be connected to fucking Dio? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait fuck. All right. So Jotaro's mom was Holly. So Yoshikage Kira is in essence what Jotaro would have been. How's he related? I guess the I guess we have to figure out who the father is. I suppose. I so said he has to be related to Dio somehow. I don't understand. But like we had Dio Brando, Diego Diego Brando was not related to the the Joe Star lineage, as I recall. Uh, but I mean, it's that's only part of a family tree. There's, there's a whole father here that we don't know about quite yet. I guess we don't know about either father of uh, one half of Gappy or Joe Dio. So that's interesting. And for future reference, don't show cash inside the bus again. He's trying to, like, don't be a, a fucking mark, bro. And turn around and walk straight ahead. Inside, oh, they have a fucking drop system, like, in the wire. Holy shit. Deep inside, look that way. They have, like, a drop system here. That's cool as hell. If you ever watched The Wire from HBO, that's... Anyway, I suppose I come here for the mechanism. Is that the new concept, mechanism? You go from fucking fate and gravity and luck and all that shit to mechanism. Cause, I mean, we did beat fate and we beat calamity. Calamity was the concept of the last part. Um, mechanisms have fucking rolls up the damn ranks. Kind of like Giorno. The hell is he like fucking pop, drop and locking it? <laughs> Sometimes he has women, I guess. So I, I feel like just, I'm just taking a lot of pauses here because I'm trying to take all this in. It's going to be a big part. Um, or a big, uh, big chapter. Jodio, based on the preview, or at least the, kind of the synopsis of what this series is going to be about, based on what I'm seeing at this point and that synopsis, Jodio is going to probably, kind of be like, um, almost like some God, uh, Scarface from God, no, not Godfather, Scarface and Scarface shit, um, where like he was just, you know, Tony was just fucking crazy, bro. Like, he was just, Motherfuckers living a fucking life, but he's just going crazy with it, looking for the uh, the glitz and the glamour and all that shit. I think he's having kind of on that that type of type of time. Um, it's not much different between him and me, but yeah, he kind of got bullied. 
Nobody helps carry his mom's shopping bag, nor is there a kid who has a fun chat with his mom on the street. He'll probably stop coming to school for too long. What am I getting at, you might ask? This is the story of me becoming filthy rich. It's like I'm exaggerating. So this is like another rising up the ranks in kind of the crime syndicate type of story. It's just a different way than part five. That's how I'm modest and stated to you. Becoming filthy rich means being able to earn lots of money, but something far more important than that. Yep, mechanisms. This reminds me of like some kind of like a like a good fellas type shit. You know, the the main character like kind of telling you like, this is how I fucked up. And just kind of give you like a whole like um telling the story, like you know the conclusion, like he experienced the conclusion of the story by telling it from the beginning on. I forgot what that storytelling device is called, but literally like kind of showing you how you got to this point. Um, it's universal. With them, even if you have enemies, you'll always be one from the start. Mechanisms may be taken or destroyed sometimes, but it's a general principle of the, this world that they bring you wealth. One thing to keep in mind with, um, with Iraqi's shits is that, um, is that Iraqi bolts words that matter. Like, when a word is bolded, it's not just to do that. Like, it, it matters. A turtle shot the pony ref. The word mechanism or system because some kind of ecosystem, the principle of mechanism is something I can't see yet. But those mechanisms will come to us, will come to appear before us as form and shapes. So I wouldn't be surprised if mechanisms are the driver here and like kind of how uh, powers and stands are formed. This is the story of one boy becoming from the rest of some tropical island. Still not enough modesty for you. Well, sorry, I'm becoming worse no matter what it takes. Shout out to my nigga Luffy. Jesus Christ. It's worse than the shit of uh, Mike Tyson did to uh, uh, Evander Holyfield. God. Any gears. I think it's like spam that's like a, some spam dish. Uh, people do like, some cultures do like crazy shit with spam. I, I don't know how people eat like fried spam and shit like that. I can't. I mean, spam's disgusting. Paco's muscles are unusual. They can grab onto things like. With stuff like the back of its hands or elbows, all they even need to move just its fingers. It's a pretty shitty stand if that's a stand, but I'm assuming it's just like some ability he has. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. Uh, so I'll go over it again when he does it next time. We had a narrative Joe Star before? Like a Joe Star literally just told the story, like the current the course of events? I think it's like one of one. Why do you think you're doing a story right now? She threw a stand on top of him. How did she stretch his fucking hair so far? Good grief. I'm fucking with Dragona so far. Is that the principal? That's a giant bitch. Holy shit. Is this like a point of view? What the fuck is this? Jesus Christ. Closed. <laughs> oh, she closed it. Or, what the fuck? Why is she so fucking big in that, that panel? I said, serious apologies, but I haven't announced for all the customers at the store. I'm afraid we're going to be closer the rest of the day. I humbly apologize for having to close it early. I really do. Is this Dragona's store? Or is she, I think Dragona doesn't work there. I don't think this is her store. You don't get 2% altogether. What's your answer? 2% of 6 million, was it? Uh, I'm going to skip this. I'm going to try to sit here and think of that, that, what that would be. Two percent of six million. Twenty percent of six million would be uh, one at one one five. So. Mm, half would be three million one point five. So one million. If you divide by eighteen point six percent, that'd be um, be one. Like a little bit over one, like one point twenty five million. That's like twenty twenty percent give or take. Eighteen percent, so eighteen percent. So you actually would be getting uh one point. I think it's like 6 or something. Actually, I got that fucked up, so. Uh, 20%, that'd be like 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8
God damn it. All right, they said on the next fucking panel. Jesus Christ. Uh, and we split that three. Oh, wait, so they guys combine unit get 2% all together. I can't fucking read, dude. I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan, and I can't read. Why am I born like this, God? Why? Why can't I read? I thought like this guy's going to be a rat. It wouldn't have been enough for no matter how many people we brought. November rain. Smooth operators. Oh, shot A. The hustle. I don't know that one. It rhymes with muscle, though. So November rain. Smooth operators. Shot of the shot A. And uh, the hustle. Oh, that's a nice, that's a really nice fucking ending there. Let me see if I can do this. Well, that is it. That is the first chapter of the Jojo Lands. Um, <sighs> All right, so I'm not going to do any review thoughts here. Uh, I, I like the chapter. Um, I like the cast so far. I like the kind of narrative thing they're doing here. Uh, you know, if you watch enough movies, you've seen like the main character being a narrator. Uh, I believe it's the first time that they've done this. The Joe start being a narrator in JoJo, so that's cool. Um, I'm interested. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna probably reread it and then do a video tomorrow, something like that. I'm actually doing like my thoughts and just some. My new shade. Hopefully, it'll be a lot shorter than this. I'm this is long as fuck. Like I'm just telling that right now. Um, uh, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm having fun so far. Um, I just wanted to wipe the filth of the last like year of JoJo out of my fucking like mind. It's all I can ask for. Just do that, and it's a success. Peace. Try to hear you Rocky the Goat. Um, try to JoJo the Goat franchise, and we'll see you guys. Fucking next. I'm, I'll be doing these every chapter. I don't fuck. I love JoJo. I'll be doing these uh, until the very end. Um, the thing to keep in mind is JoJo Lian began 2011 and 2019, so that's eight years worth of fucking chapters. <laughs> don't know how long we were doing this, but I'm going to be here for the ride. I'll be reading anyway, so I might as well do a video. So see you guys later.